Tomorrow night, Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio will be giving an update on the district's transportation plan. Widespread transportation failures disrupted, it disrupted the beginning of the school year. Since then, students, families, and staff members have been looking for improvements. Wave News reporter David Ochoa takes a look at what will be discussed at the meeting. And David, the meeting's agenda says they'll be talking about the current progress, strategic adjustments, preparations for early childhood, and considerations for future planning. School started for JCPS on August 9th, and almost immediately, things got off to a bad start. Kids got picked up hours late and dropped off at 9.58 p.m. It's just a ridiculous mess. They should have left it alone. School was canceled for a week and a half as JCPS worked to fix things the best they could. For weeks, we heard horror stories from parents. The busing isn't working. It hasn't worked since 2017. It didn't work this week, this past week. It was an epic failure. My son... He has a cell phone, so thanks God I was able to communicate with him. I knew he was at the bus compound. I knew he was safe. But when he got home, he said there was no food. They didn't offer him water. And he was really, really upset. At the first school board meeting after the transportation disaster, the board gave their thoughts on the situation. The report that you gave, uh, I guess just preliminarily, is, is damning on many levels. Um... It sounds as though people just didn't do their jobs. That is unacceptable. We have been trying to ask questions and get answers and can't get any responses that are worth anything from anyone. On Tuesday, parents might finally get some answers. So our plan is to bring you an update at our next board meeting in September about our transportation system, some of the things that um, we learned between now and then, some of the things we've changed, bring you some data around uh, some of the facts of our transportation system right now. JCPS Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio said that at the board meeting on August 29th. He also talked about finding a company for an external audit to figure out what caused the transportation issues. Uh, so that they can provide us a complete picture of what happened, what didn't happen, what we should have done, and what we need to do moving forward. Polio said they would have a company to do the audit by tomorrow night's meeting. David Ochoa, Wave News. Thank you, David.